Drop some commas on my wrist. On my wrist. Drugging man, you know I'm taking risks. I'm taking risks. Pussy boy, you know what the shit. Not with the shit. Drop some commas on my wrist. On my wrist. Drugging man, you know I'm taking risks. I'm taking risks. Pussy boy, you know what the shit. Not with the shit. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed that new intro. Um, hopefully I don't have any food in my teeth. I'm really, really sorry. What is up? <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed the new intro. What did you guys think? Give that video a thumbs up, you guys. I'm so happy. Um, but I just hope that you guys enjoyed it. And guess what, you guys? I got a new ID. Fuck yes. Um, I don't want to show you guys. Okay, maybe I should get a little bit because I don't want to get fucking... Oh, there we go that's it but um yeah you guys i just literally um have been just chilling right now i'm having like a really good i don't know if anybody like oh before this video starts i want to make sure to go and make sure that you please subscribe to my channel um really really helps my channel grow and also just helps me um in general like for this my business and everything like that and just make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below anything that you want to say or whatever um i'll make sure to comment back or reply back to you <clears throat> but back to what i was saying um yeah guys i just have been literally <sighs> i wouldn't say like i guess i've just been a little bit overwhelmed there's just been so many things. And I want to talk to you guys about everything, but it's just crazy because, like, I can't tell you everything, you know? But let's just say that life is just really, really great at this moment. Um, you know, just in my personal life, I've just been going through a lot of things and just juggling and just trying to find ways to just get better at what I want to do and my creativity and, like... You know, lately since I've been dancing, um, I think it's going to be almost four months now that I've been, um, like, stripping. And I'm just genuinely just so blessed to be doing what I'm doing right now. And I know it might sound crazy for you to, for me even to be saying that. Because for some people, they look at strippers and they look at them just like, oh, you know, they're just trash. Or they just put themselves out there. They just want to be like, no, it's like it's more than that to me. And I just feel like lately I've been getting better at my craft and who how i am as a dancer i'm like finding myself and just in so many ways it's crazy and when i say i feel like the strip club like kind of like changed my life in a way like it kind of did it just kind of made me view life in so many different ways and you know if you ever want to try something in life and you want to try new things just do it because i feel like if we don't go out for what we want in life if we don't try things if we don't do things like we're never gonna be able to well i'm like literally getting goosebumps just by saying that and it's just true because like what you give out to the world you know it's just gonna truly believe what i'm just trying to say is do what makes you happy you know just do what makes you happy, you know? Like, for the longest time, like, I was working a 9-to-5 job where I was just so unhappy. And I kept asking myself, I kept asking, why am I not happy? Why, why am I here? Why? It's because you put yourself there. You want to be there. You want to be working that job. You want to do that. Though That's what you want in life. And... I kept questioning myself that is this where I'm going to see myself in the next three or four or five years working here. And and that's when I just started to realize, like, what I wanted to do with my life, what I wanted. And, you know, this isn't like a motivational video or anything. Like, I'm just trying to just advise you guys to just really, truly do things because you want to. Don't do things because other people are doing it. And, you know, like, for the longest time, like, I would go on Instagram <clears throat> And I was just like, oh, I want to be like that. Like, oh, I want to be like that person. Oh, my God, I want to be like, like, I'm constantly, constantly comparing myself to this and this and this and that. And I was at work, you know, like, just like, why can I have that life? But if you really put yourself to really understand that, like, you can have that life. You can. We can have anything we want. And. 
never in my life would I be thinking that I'd be where I am right now. Like, it's crazy. Like, like it's crazy. And to so many people, you know, like, you know, you can do anything you put your mind to. You just have to really just try, try new things. Like, I'm not saying go be a stripper, go go do things, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy because, like, a lot of people always ask me, like, hey, like, how did you learn to dance so well? Or, like, you look like you've been doing this for years. I'm like, what? Like, you know, like, I love that those type of comments, you know, when I'm at, when I'm at work. And it's just, like, fucking amazing because I'm just like, whoa, like. And that's when I start to realize, like, damn, like, this is, like, something that I truly always wanted to do you know i always like when i was young i think that if you guys um make sure to follow me on my instagram you guys um i'm always posting like stuff on there um i'm usually usually more active on all my other socials um just if i don't post on here make sure to follow me on there um make sure to put something right here or right here or right there but you know like when i was young when i was 12 years old i remember going to school and just always getting bullied just because like I would act a certain way, and and I'd go home, and I'd watch Selena, like, the movie Selena, and I'd just watch her, and y'all, y'all remember, like, that song, Bitty Bitty Bum? Bitty 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 Bum And I'd just, like, start to shake my hips, and I just started to dance, and I just started to just, like, and my mom would just, like, throw <laughs> typical Mexican mom, i go, what are you doing? And I'm just, like, and I'd get so scared, and I'm just, like, fuck, like, like, I just wanted to be Selena. <laughs> like, I just wanted to just be myself. I wanted to be that person, like, that was just trying to just, you know. And I just never could be myself, like, ever, you know. Like, living in a household where you're just constantly having to just always block that. Like, as a child, like, you know. You know, maybe I'll make another story about this, but, um, you know, when I was young, and I think I have talked about this in my um, coming out story, where, you know, I was sexually touched at a such a young age, and it's just truly have changed my perspective in, about everything in life, and just how I see people and everything, and I never think, and I feel like sometimes I just feel like I'm never going to be the same, but I just truly feel like it's just, like, made me see things so much in a different light. And, you know, being, like, under the closet for so long and just never being able to be my identical self, like, identical, uh, identical person, it's just hard. It's hard, you know? And that's why I feel like sometimes I feel like I act like I'm little because, like, I finally got to be myself. I'm finally being myself. Like I'm, I'm finally being the, that person that I always wanted to be. And I'm, and you know, it's crazy. Like for so long, I just, I, I used to just like think that it was not right to act that way or be that way. And this is just for anybody. Like if you are trying to figure yourself out, or you think you are gay, or if you think you are, if you like, if you're bi or whatever, like you know what I'm saying, like. It's okay to be different. Like, it's okay. Like, you know, like, I thought it was so scary. Like, I was just like, oh, I gotta be so masculine. I gotta, oh, I gotta be different. Like, I gotta, I can't be gay. I can't be, no, guys. Like, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, you have to be different. It's okay to be different. What's stopping you from being different? Are you scared of what people are gonna say about you? I mean, I'll be honest. Like, I was scared of what people were gonna say about me. I was scared of what my mom was going to say about me. I was scared about everything. And I just truly, honestly believe in that, you know, I believe in that. I don't know, guys. I'm just ranting. I'm just, like, just so blessed to have everything that I have. And I couldn't have done it with without obviously our our creator of this universe and like everything that's around us like you know like but it's just crazy like (laughs) but i just wanted to just run on here you know and just talk to you guys a little bit just because i feel like you know i don't want you guys to think that like 
that like life is so perfect and that like you know like we all go through things in life you know like right now i'm just i've been talking to this boy and like i really like him and like i just know that like i've been hurt i've been hurt you know like i've been hurt so many times and it's just hard to just feel like you're always having to just be strong and I'm not, like, I'm not strong. I didn't want to cry out here, you guys. I didn't want to cry. But this is what life is, you guys. This is what life is, really. I do cry. I'm emotional. I'm an emotional person. Don't believe and think that everything is crystal clear and that everything's beautiful. <laughs> Everyone's fighting. Everyone's fighting. And, like, we just have to learn that to be kind to people. And that's what's so important. Um, I'm going to go in and make sure to link a podcast that one of my best friends um, on in, on Instagram. His name is Jesse. Um, he's super, super sweet. And, like... <clears throat> He, like, recommended me this podcast, and he has truly have just been changing my life. Like, I'm going to get his book really, really soon. I'm so excited to start reading it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cry. But I'm just, but I'm, ha- but I'm crying for happy tears, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, so don't think I'm sad. I'm happy. And just remember that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. And, yeah, you guys, I'm going to just be vlogging more for you guys. I'm going to be, you know. And I just hope that, you know, I can inspire you guys, you know, to just follow your dreams, follow whatever you want to do. And I'm going to take you guys with me to show you guys that how I started, you know, like I said, like, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start to um, finish this vlog and edit it and get it up for you guys just because I want to make sure to be posting consistently, you guys. I know that I've been posting like once a month and that's not okay for you guys. So I want to make sure that I'm doing my best. And yeah, you guys, um, I'm going to go in and um, get this video up for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little rant, crying vlog. I didn't think I was going to cry, but, you know, I just want to show you guys the real me. And I don't need to hide anything, you know what I'm saying? And, <clears throat> but yeah, you guys, I love you guys so freaking much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to link the bell to be notified every time I post. Make sure to follow me on all my social all right. media. I'll make sure to list everything down below. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And you always remember to be blessed. And until next time.